<laughs> happy Christmas! Yeah, <laughs> happy Christmas and a happy new year. Or is it Merry Christmas and a happy new year? Right, that's it. That's about as much as excitement and cheerfulness that I can do. <laughs> We're back fishing again. I've just set the date on this GoPro and it was the 14th of the 11th when I was last fishing. So it's virtually a month. We're not gonna harbor after days because it's the 11th of December today. Um, and it's 12 minutes past one. And uh, yeah, hope you've had a good Christmas because it was two days ago, I think. So uh, yeah, I hope Santa brought everything you wanted, kids. I hope uh, mum's got their wine to get them through the two days, the um and stuff and all the cooking and stuff. And uh, I hope all the dads, well, it's uh, it's the promised day, isn't it, for the year, isn't it, Christmas day, if you're lucky. You know, some of us just get a cuddle. Well, some of us don't get that. But anyhow, I hope you had a good time. So, uh, yeah, and uh, we've got, you've got New Year to go, haven't you? So some will get drunk, some will play Monopoly, and some will go to bed early. So whatever you're doing, enjoy it. We'll cut for the credits. No! <laughs> We'll cut for the intro. That's what we'll do. We'll cut for the intro. Well, look at these shadows down there. All because, and it's not because the lady loves milk tray. It's because of that sun, absolutely stunning. And uh, I've been looking, I've been looking at the weather for now a week and a half. And uh, it kept saying Monday, Monday good weather, Monday good weather. And it's bloody brilliant. It is good weather, it's sunny, I've got it on my face. It's fantastic. So um, for once, the weather on a long-term range has been precise been absolutely fantastic it's raining in Norfolk just put to John Spolton and uh, yeah it's raining there and he turned the wrong way because I was talking to him and uh, well no he didn't he told me he turned the wrong way because he was thinking of talking to me on the phone but yeah it's good when you got a parrot hands free isn't it voice command it's all good isn't it but yeah, fancy turn the wrong way. And uh, John's got a new ruler now. It's got an extra centimeter on it because his, his old ruler, it was wrong. It didn't work properly because it was a centimeter short. So uh, all them matches, he probably could have won. I don't know, bless him. But he's uh, got a new ruler now and everything's sorted. But anyhow, that's a load of old squabble into it, squit. Anyhow, what I'm saying is, I've got me Reed's Chill Cheetah thermals on for the first time. Trousers are fantastic. I've got a zip so I can get the old chap out. So that's good. But the top, um, these tops are meant to be tight on your body. But I didn't realise it'd be as tight as this is. It's perfectly all right round my six pack and round my biceps and everywhere else. It's perfect length on the arms. It's just my neck, this bit here. It's, uh, you got like a turtleneck round here, but it just feels tight, so I keep stretching it. <coughs> but I only had this on for quite a while, and I put my hoodie on when I got here. Um, but yeah, I ain't got nothing else on, but then the sun's out, but I've got my electric jacket with me, so I can plug it in. I've got a 240 volt socket down there, so I'll get that plugged in, and uh, I'll be warm as toast. Um, and if, there's no wind, but if the wind does pick up, I'll put me, uh, me, uh, coat on. That's reeds as well. Cause I went and bought all reed chill cheetah stuff, which is brilliant. And if it rips, you can just send it back to the factory and they'll repair it. They'll put a new panel in, they'll put a patch on it. Depends what's required. They'll repair it. But this is the first time I've worn these, um, thermal bottoms and top. And I'm quite happy with it up to now, apart from this neck. So I wish, I did get the tight trousers, the size that fits me, but um, I sent them back and said to them, send us the next size up because they were just too tight. I didn't like it. And the woman that I was talking to, Jane, Jane, I think it was, 
um, she said to me she don't like it tight either so uh, she did say to me about getting the next size up that don't make sense does it if you don't like it tight but then you get the next size up I thought it would be tighter but no I'm only jesting now they're, they're great people if you want to uh, and this, I ain't plugging it I'm just because I'm now rattling on you see so I'm now rattling on but yeah if you uh interested in anything of reeds I would personally say these thermals are absolutely fantastic the best thing I've ever ever had um go watch um Sea Angling Adventures because they they've actually got a video that you're permitted to see on the reed chill cheater and it wicks away the sweat there's like 70 points of fiber material which just in contact with your skin over a centimeter or something and that just wicks away everything so it's fantastic lovely and warm but when it gets chilly when that sun goes i've got an electric coat that the wife bought for me for christmas so uh yeah and if you're going to buy anything from reeds it is expensive so phone them up and speak to them because uh, when i bought my leggings and my top they threw some socks in for free i had a choice i could have had socks a hoodie or something else i chose socks but i couldn't find them today or else i'd have had them on as well like Eskimo socks though. They aren't like a pair of socks you get in the uh, uh, in Asda. You know, the premier sock shop of the world. Right, water's in. I'm going to put this away now. Uh, like I say, happy Christmas. And uh, hope you have a happy new year as well. If you don't have a merry Christmas, you might have a happy one. And then you might have a merry new year, mightn't you? But whatever you have, have a good one because you ain't on this planet for long so you need to make the most of every minute and uh, even when you're as buggered as me I should even wake up in the morning and think to myself what a glorious day but I don't I get up in the morning and I think oh that aches that aches oh I'm stiff oh my ankles you know but I shouldn't do that I should actually look at the the, the glass half full I think, oh, it's fantastic as I'm hobbling down the stairs, nearly falling. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get this. I've got... Right. I've got three rods. We've got the Vaselli Cobra KW. We've got the Ziplex TF5050. I can't be this happy all the way through this session. And I've got my sniper rod, which is the Daiwa Kenzaki boot rod. And I've got three rigs on because I've got three rods. Think about it. They're all flapper rigs. We're going to kit the blank out of the way because that's the main thing. And then I'll fish. Um, on the ebb, I'm going to, I might, shock horror, Andrew Jones, I might put a panel rig on. Um, went and got my bait. Uh, and Scott looked after me brilliantly, give me uh, more bait than I asked for. So thank you very much, Scott. Um, appreciate that got a food food lug worm from what he used the other day in a match and he had it left over so he's given me that as well which uh thank you very much yes check out squids and bait if you're ever over this way or you're over that side or wherever come over here and get some bait but don't buy all of it because there's times when i just phoned scott up and say he got 20 worms and uh didn't have any yellow tails so i'm fishing with ragworm and blow lug so I'm going to keep the blow lug for the ebb and uh, put some big baits on a panel rig of ragworm. Scott's told me what to do. You're never too old or too experienced to learn, are you? That's my opinion, anyway. So, water's in. Let's get chucked out now, shall we? I'm going to chuck it out over here, this boat rod. Now, I may, if I catch on this rod and the blank is other, 
I may put this rod away because uh, it is hard work fishing free rods but sometimes can't bring myself to do it because as you know go check out my cod videos they are unbelievable viewing that's all I'm gonna say if you're new to this channel check out my old videos of last winter on the cod because there's no one like a Norfolk cod catcher on this river what I'm saying is basically is the fact that um, I caught quite a few cod on that sniper rod if you put it away it's not gonna happen is it I'm gonna get these other rods baited up now um, uh, hopefully I've got some stuff to talk to you about it hadn't been a very good whip month and a half two months really what are we in December 11th November October probably since September really well it is since beginning of September so it's three months it's been shite absolute shite I don't think anything else could go wrong well it could go wrong it could go a lot worse wrong it's only small things it's all stuff oh, I'll tell you what when I was driving there when I was coming across the top road and uh, I looked down the field and there must have been two, three, four, five thousand starlings. A little bit of seagulls, but there must have been at least three or five thousand starlings. It was the length of the field. Unbelievable. I've never seen that many starlings. It's good to see as well. But that's that rod out. Sniper rod is out. Um, we've got rag ragworm on it. I'm going to get these baited up now and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Look at this sky. Absolutely. Bl I mean, it's December. I've got a cracking day. Absolutely cracking. That's the sun. Just clear. So it's going to get cold tonight. So um, I've got my heated jacket. But if I just put my reeds jacket on, I'll be warm but um, I need to send my bottoms off to get a zip put in for me old chap because uh, so you got to unbuckle it all you got to lift your coat up you got to push your bottoms down get your chap out have a whittle and there's a possibility at my age that you might pee all over your bloody salopettes don't want that to happen do I so um, yeah we need a zip we need a zip put in it so uh, I may tomorrow or tonight probably tomorrow package it up take it down to the post office and get it sent to reeds to get a zip put in it so that's the only thing wrong with their gear is the fact that it doesn't already come with a zip in it um it's a shame but i presume it's so the ladies can have it because they don't need a zip there do they they probably need zip under well i don't know we don't want to go there do we we don't want to go there bloody cracking day I'm so chuffed I've been watching the weather for so long and I thought it's got to be that day got to be that day um, I hope you enjoyed the rod building video um, there is some more of them going to be done and put out and it'll be put out on a Wednesday it's to help me out don't like fishing in winter anymore last year wiped me out and uh, still remembering it now freezing cold 30 mile an hour winds but we were on a mission back then, weren't we? I don't think there's uh, so many fish about this year, but what fish is about are good ones. So I'll get these baited up and bring you back in a bit.
I'll try again. Yeah. Things are hard work. Just slipped on the just slipped on the um just slipped on the bloody rock. So saw me fuck mess the cast up didn't you? Sorry about that. First cast for a month. Well just cast the sniper rod out, didn't I? But yeah, felt totally different to sniper rod. Sniper rod's all flexible, isn't it? But that one just felt heavy, and I was concerned I was going to hook up onto the sniper line because I was a bit too close. That's why I slipped over whilst walking to the right to cast out. So, might cast the next one up, up here, and just go down there. Um, for real in. Now half a worm come off the bottom hook. Um, full worm was still on the top hook, so I've got a full worm and half a worm on that cast. That'll be brought in fairly quick, but it's out there fishing. I've got this one. Well, I might as well chuck it out now, and because it's there, I've baited them all up. I baited them all up. That's it. Look how bloody on the ball I am, aren't I? See if I'm in shot. Yeah. That. Well, we'll put it here. Look at this for an angle. Oh, fuck. Jesus, wet. Bugger off. Nearly full, never everywhere. Can't believe it, can you? Look at that, eh? Oh, ho. Rods are in. Right, let's get this. I don't know why I'm chirped before. I'm now getting my uh, subscribers aren't happy with me because I ain't ranting. Um, I've got things to talk about, but most of it would shut my channel down, and I can't do that. Tom wouldn't like it, I'll tell you. Right, I'm casting from up there, I don't care how far it go. That's a better cast. Yeah, we're feeling it now. Get that in there. That on there. That in there. Like that. Like that. Take up the slack. Nice and taut. Bait runner on. Bait runner on. We've got bait runners on the big rods. Little one, I ain't got a bait runner. I've just got a normal long cast spill, which is nice, nice reel. I don't, I'm harboring after getting one because you can still get these cheap not the six fives but they do the two fives now which would probably be all right and i could use it for a bass reel as well couldn't i we'll see i don't know but it's 90 quid and when i tell you what i've laid out just lately it's uh yeah unbelievable everything's gone wrong um probably too much for me to remember so it wouldn't sound that bad but there, all three rods are out with fishing. Uh, to all my loyal subscribers, of, of whom there is over 4,863 um, last time I looked. I thought I might have been at 5,000, but now it is what it is, you know. When you're like me, Marmite, you know, people will subscribe and then they'll unsubscribe, you know. Because I ain't an educated fisherman. Now, I don't really know a lot about fishing, to be honest. Um, there's far more people better than me at giving out tips and information and advice and stuff. Me, I just, well, you can see, you can see up to now what I'm like. That's the way it is. My hip don't help, but that's getting done, so. <coughs> <coughs> 
Cough Suite, I think. Cough Suite. I think we'll have a hack. Well, they ain't hacks anymore, are they? They're halls. Yeah. Right, there's the battery. Right, well, we're just... Yeah, we've got them. We've got them. Right, hang on. Put this down. There, we go like that. Well, what's gone wrong? I come back off holiday in Devon. Thank you, Jimmy. That was a fantastic week, me and the wife had. Um, talk about relaxing. It was unbelievable. And, uh, yeah. Talking about it now, it feels like it was a Christmas present. <coughs> but, yeah, I'm not watching the rods, am I? Yeah, so what happened? I come back off to holiday in Devon. While I was in Devon, it rained. I've never seen, and it was nothing to do with global bloody warming either, or global climate glue, climate change or whatever, it just rained. Um, weather systems coming across the Atlantic from America and sh stuff like that, so it rained cats and dogs. Um, I had water come into my cabin, I've never had water and I ain't got water in there now, but I had water, a patch appeared on the roof. So I've never seen that before. Water got into my fill bar sensor. So the van weren't running right, and it weren't running right in Devon. I was saying to the Karen missus, I was saying, it feels like the clutch is slipping. And that's the feeling that it gave us, was that. But um, So we had that problem. When I got home on the Monday, I went for a two mile drive and come back because I forgot my wallet, and the van conked out. So that was about 11, 12 days I didn't have a van so I come back off holiday and I couldn't work I've got these two houses now that I've got to decorate and I was working Saturday so I could have um, and the wife helped me so that I could come fishing today so I had no van no work for 12 11 12 days um, whilst that was going on my glasses fell off my head and broke I had to fix them twice because the glue wouldn't work um, just been a catalogue of events my boiler the fan that powers the boiler that sends the flu out all those fumes out and everything that conked out well it's conking out I've ordered a new one through the plumber that's that's gonna be done my shower is nearly kaput I've got to buy a shower this week because that's kaput last night I cleaned my fish tank out and the filter weren't working so I couldn't get it working so I had to order, so I ordered another one on Amazon and that's coming Wednesday today's Monday so that's the main filtration for the tank I've got two other filters in there for um, biological filtration so to keep the nitrates down bite on that little rod it's just been a catalogue of events like there, there's so much see it doesn't sound nothing does it there's other stuff that went wrong, but it's just shake your head time and what what do you do? Um, the other day I went out to my van again, handbrake was seized on. It was when we had that snow. So there I was laid underneath with the van up the curb. I managed to move it and freeing off my handbrake cable. So uh, I now have to leave it in gear. I can pull the handbrake on, but I don't want the left hand side one to seize took it down to the garage get it booked in i go back down to the garage a week later don't forget i'm in there tomorrow i ain't got time to do you then it's like well thanks a lot mate i've used you for bloody eight years and years and years and you just get put with the back of the queue because all the builders and all the other people that have got loads of vans they take priority don't they it's uh there's no loyalty anymore in this world. So you get it with insurance companies and all that, what we used to do in electric and gas and all that. There's no allegiance at all. You just have to go wherever, don't you? But you gotta be careful with garage because if, if you don't trust them, you always think you're getting robbed, don't you? There is other stuff that's gone wrong. It was just a depression time. The worst thing that happened was for the last three weeks, I noticed me, well, for the past two months, I've noticed that my cat his name is Tigger. Um, I noticed that I noticed that Tigger was uh, getting. He was always going to the cupboard and not eating much when we fed him. So we decided, whenever he goes to the cupboard, he's going to get fed. 
That got to the point where he was going through his food and he was only eating a little and it got smaller and smaller and smaller. And then like two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, I rubbed him across his back like I always do. And I could feel his spine through his back and I thought, oh no. And it got less and less food. Um, we were buying all the special food, cat milk and lick licks and all this crap. Um, and he was a chunky cat. It was only three months ago I said to Karen, he's doing well. He's, his fur was beautiful. He had meat on him. Nice big bushy head. And yeah, I took him to the vets. Turns out he had cancer in his stomach, which was into his intestine. And that's what was stopping him from eating. I've got a bite on a fishing rod. I'm gonna to have to finish this story in a minute, but I'll leave it. it ain't gonna take long. So from that point, I started making a casket. So you might laugh because it's just a cat, you know, but you get attached to a cat, you get attached to a dog. I'm attached to my daughter's dogs now. And I quite like dogs now, I never used to. I don't like some of the owners, but I don't, you know, they're the bad ones. We'll get onto that later as well. But um, yeah, it was quite an upsetting time watching your cat walking about, not eating much. We end up syringing water into his mouth, cat milk and all sorts. Um, went away, he gave, the vet gave him an injection for being able to eat and he started eating then. Um, got him through that weekend. Um, we kept giving him this medicine because he went for an x-ray as well and it confirmed that it was cancer. And this liquid we were injecting into his mouth, the cancer was causing fluid into his stomach which was making him feel full. And this injection actually worked because he was laboring, breathing, he was like this, breathing. And then it got to the point where we were like, is he breathing? You know, he was breathing normally. And so he did improve with that. Um, but we took him on the Monday morning. The girls come with me because it was Chelsea's cat. And um, he would have given the injection again, but it was a case of uh, he's got days to go. So half past five that night, all four of us was there, including mum. And uh, he was put to sleep. And then he was given the fatal injection. And that was the end of Tigger. Brought him home. During this period, I was making a casket, like I said, which was quite upsetting when your cat was alive still, but not well, and you're making his coffin. So then the Tuesday morning, I started digging the old Tanisha come round, and if it weren't for Tanisha, I wouldn't have got that hole dug because I couldn't get down because of my hip. So I was loosening the soil up with a spade, and Tanisha was uh, shoveling it out of the hole. We buried him, we writ on the box, and uh, yeah, that's that, that's the cat. So since the cat, it's been the shower and then last night it was the fishing filler. I don't know what else can go wrong. Oh, the TV, the TV. I ended up getting a black strip down one end of the TV that was flashing. Ah, oh. so that TV's now up in Tanisha's room because it's a 3D telly and if you just put it on and put a 3D film on you can watch a film before it's on too long it'll start doing the flashy shit so I had to go out and buy a new telly didn't I so you end up going out to buy a telly and you end up getting the next model up don't you and ended up getting the next one up from that I end up getting a new LED so we've got a good telly now now that it's a telly that we shouldn't get this strip that ever come up again we'll probably get another problem and there's other things that have happened and it's like what else can go wrong but yeah the worst thing was the cat because it's it's um upsetting after you've seen him for so long run around he was 15 years old tigger probably 15 and a half um his brother he's still going but tab his brother he's uh walking slower than me now so i don't know how long tab has got so i expect that'll be the next next one next thing i don't know i hope he lasts through summer next year and get another summer but yeah things go wrong don't they sometimes you're at the top of the ferris wheel aren't you going round, and you're up the top and everything's looking rosy and at the next breath you're at the bottom and you're in the shit. so yeah perhaps this uh, ferris wheel is going around really slow like three months slow, I don't know. Right.
I'm gonna uh, end this now because it's 17 minutes. It's gone into a second saved segment for Tom to find, but he's good at that. See you in a bit. Right, the battery's at 30%. Let's hope it don't die. Because we're the time of year when the batteries just give up when they want. I've had a knock on this, but whether it's still on there or whether it was... Uh, I've got to be careful. That's twice I nearly fell over. Very nice. Lovely flounder. Good job I've got the bucket of water. I guessed it might be a flounder. Be nice if it was a cod. There you go. One flounder. Let's get this on there. Get it in the bucket, eh? That's the blank gone. So I should put the rod away now, but I ain't gonna. But I am gonna chuck it over there again. And uh, I'll get this unhooked now. And uh, I'll show you it when I get it, get it off the hook. All right, let's hope this battery lasts. We've got the flounder unhooked, we've baited up. We're chucking out this rig again. And I'll show you the fish. There you go. Right, well, we'll show you this fish now. Um, oh, you bugger. I might not release it yet. I might release it when that tide comes in. If it's all right in the water, I'm going to release it in a bit because it'll just save me walking all the way down there. You know, it is what it is, isn't it? Things are getting painful a bit right we unhooked it now oh, this water's cold here we go one flounder and I'm chuffed to catching that because it's not a blank so I'm gonna put it in the water it's hunkered right down um, but yeah what a beautiful fish a little bit of blood coming out tiny 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 it might even know it ain't it's a coloration on its fin but yeah i'll put it in the water and i'm going to return it when them stones are covered because it just makes it easier for me there you go he flicked his tail when he went in there i've only just got that water as well so that water's the same temperature as the water in the humber so it shouldn't be too much of a system shock for him uh yeah I was, uh, came here and I saw a woman. I had one woman come past and I had a right chat with her. She was just going for a walk. Um, it was nice chatting to her. Another woman coming along, maybe looked a bit, I don't know. Um, she had a dog with her. I said hello to the dog, but the dog didn't say hello back. I think he wanted to fuss. But I could see that I weren't getting anywhere with the woman. 
and uh, she was pulling one of them shopping trolleys that my mum used to have in the 70s that you used to go to find fair with and fill up with all your shopping and then roll at them on its little wheels and I said to her are you collecting firewood then thinking that because there's quite a bit of wood here little bits people collect it come down there and collect it and she went no I'm uh, she didn't want to talk to me she says uh, I'm collecting all the rubbish from fishermen I was like oh right yeah I do that too because as soon as I came here I found a six ounce weight down there so that's in the box to be melted down not that I ain't got enough lead. She didn't want to talk. Fisherman of the Antichrist. I come here, there's some line down there. There's a bit of line over here. And there's a milk bottle top over there. I mean, that could have come from any um, boats that come down this river. You don't get rubber boots down this river, thank God. But, you know, when the people are there and they happen to just chuck something over the ship's side, it ends up on the shoreline, doesn't it? You know, human beings are human beings, aren't they? I think I've got a boat on that, haven't I? I have got a boat on that. I wonder why I can see it. Perhaps the rod's bedded in. Anyhow, she was, she didn't want to talk to me. So as she went past, she was only like there, she was in line with me. And I thought there was no need for that really, is there? Because I come here and I pick up whatever. I don't broadcast the fact because, you know, that ends up getting your hate mail eventually but wherever I fish when I leave if there's something I see it I take it with me unless it's an old lobster pot that's there and I've got no way of getting that back to my van with my hip it is what it is you do get rubbish on an industrial river like this so I happen to just say to her oh, well if you're collecting fishermen's rubbish as you come through the gate that we all have to go through I says there's two plastic bags full of dog muck down there perhaps you'd like to take them anyhow stony silence was met with that so I went back to get my um, well I went back to see if I could move my van and I could the old lady had gone so she walked right down there towards the bridge and come back she's gone so I moved my van up um, and what was still in the gateway the two bags of dog mug so it's all right being uh all righteous i pick this up and i pick that up but if you don't pick it all up then what's the bloody point because it ain't just fishermen is it there's some uh, co2 canisters down there i guess someone's decided to have some gin and wanted to charge the water squirter thing up and they've brought some seal two canisters perhaps i don't know but um or oh, mind you that could have been washed out of the river couldn't it but then they have a hole in the end they should fill up with water and sink but you know you can you know there's no need for it is there and you do tend to find it with some people normally bitter and twisted face like a bloody back end of a of a donkey's ass and uh, everything's against them nothing's good for them and generally they hate men <laughs> i'm lucky i am lucky because my wife is diamond and uh i'll say now she knows which side her bread's buttered i'll tell you even though the christmas constitutional is now over it must happen with age, you know, you hit certain points in age and these things just die away. Mind you, with my hip, I don't think I can do out. Let's have a coffee, eh? I watched MacMaster. I don't know if you watched MacMaster, but I watched MacMaster the other day. He went to Morrison's and had a Christmas stack after his Christmas dinner, free course Christmas dinner. He went for a Christmas stack. Well, it looked quite all right, actually, even though he said it was shite. So I took the wife there and... Uh, because of MacMaster, I took the wife out for a meal. And we had a Christmas stack each, followed by Christmas pudding and cream. Well, it was exactly the same as MacMaster's. The potatoes were dry, the stuffing ball was dry, the sausages, pigs in, the sausages and bacon was nice, and the, the burger was nice. But the potatoes were dry in the middle and the bigger potatoes weren't cooked long enough. It's like they're cooked small ones, but not the big ones. And uh, they also, brought my the woman said to me i'll bring your christmas pudding out 
your afters when you're finished. Well, just give me a shout. And then she come out with it about five minutes later. And I looked at her and she says, I've been told to bring it out to you. Get it out. So I then had to wolf my burger down because I didn't want my pudding to get cold. But the good thing about it all is it got probably a seven out of 10 for me. I still ate the potatoes because there was a pot of gravy there and you just submerged them in the gravy. It was all right, it filled a hole. And when we were walking to get the food bits and some milk that we needed, I said to the wife, I said, I'm stuffed. So it did its job, didn't it? Did its job. Uh, but the only problem is I forgot to take my wallet. So I ended up taking her out for a meal, but the wife paid. And I think that's quite canny, really. <laughs> I've got to put a comment on Matt Masters. He'll put a thumbs up or whatever. He's got that many, gets that many uh, comments. He ain't got time to answer them all. He answered a few, I think, but he's answered one of mine before. It must have tickled him to answer it. But um, it is what it is, isn't it? When you get loads and loads and loads and loads of comments, um, it is hard work, isn't it? I think I've got a bite on my Ziplex rod. But it's sit down time, that's what it is. I shall watch it. The line's not slack, so it's not anything exciting. So I'll keep fishing this sniper rod in close. This water's coming in quick. So what we talked we talked about that old the woman. I mean, hats off to her, she was around picking rubbish up, which is the main thing, isn't it? But you know, there's no need to uh, have a uh, negative viewpoint on a fisherman, is there? It's not like we're sightless, is it? Look, I had all this plan to have a moan and groan about this, that and the other, but I ain't going to now. Um, I'm in quite a joyous mood. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Uh, rants will come, you know. I've, I'd love to rant, but if I rant about what I want to rant about, I will lose my channel. So uh, I can't do that. And I can't think of anything else that's winding me up at the minute. Apart from generalisation of twats in this world that actually wind me up. That rod can stay there for all I care. I'm going to have another coffee while I chat to you. Daughter bought me this flask last year. So uh, I do like them. Um, what were we talking about? Let's not go on to that. What were we talking about? This bloody thermal top is lovely. I've put my heated jacket on. It's here. Look. There it is. I put that on just in case when the sun goes down it gets cold. And I'll put it on low. That's all you need. And then if it gets windy, which I'm not really thinking it's going to, um, I'll put my uh, my coat on just to cut the wind out. Um, but this, it's like a bomber jacket, but it's it's a tank top really. But it's got all electric in it and a battery pack. I moaned about it when I got it for Christmas. Because it was too big. But then... Last year it got so cold and I just happened to have it in the van. I thought I'd better put it in the van because the wife's bought me it. <laughs> I'm a sod for presents. But, um, yeah, I put it on and by God, if I hadn't have that, if I didn't have this coat, I would have not fished as many sessions as I did last year because it was just too cold. I think as you get older, you just sort of like, um, you, you feel the cold more, don't you? Definitely. You can't walk, you're crippled. That's my fault, because I haven't been for the up, but I'm going. Will be shortly, I'm sorting that out this week. And yes, I haven't sorted out yet, because I've had all the trauma with my cat, and everything else. It's just been a nightmare. I think I was in about a depression. When the van was broke down for those 12 days, I was in a bout of depression, because all my freedom was taken away from me. All taken away from me, I couldn't do anything. If it weren't for my daughter taking me to work, um, where I work in the morning from 7 till 9, I wouldn't have even gone there. I can't walk down the road to it. So yeah, what was I just talking about? Yeah, I was going to talk about, you know what I think a cyclist? A lot of that's to do with, with the fact of uh, who my relation is, is the cyclist, and I ain't got no time for him whatsoever. And he's blood, and he's a tosser. Um, so I just stigma everybody with the same, paint everyone with the same brush. But, but, no matter what you do in life, you always get, and some of you out there might think, well, you're that, you're that person. 
Yeah, I might be that person. I don't think I am, because you don't know me, but you might think that if you do, you do, don't you? But no matter what you get in life, there's always a, a clique of people that are um, evangelists, let's say, something that MacMaster would say. Um, people that are through and through what they do. So you'll get sightless. You know the ones, they've got all the light on and everything, and they own the road. Yeah, and yeah, you should give them plenty of space, and I only used to get a 16 inches when a lorry went past me as a child. Don't make it right. But you do get people that are to the ninth degree, don't you, of what they do. And that might be cycling, that might be fishing, dog walkers, excuse me, you're in the way, the bloke on um, bricks and pear, twats like that, you get them in every walk of life. So whenever I'm moaning about sightless and whatever, I ain't on about the sightless that gets on his bike and ride to work. I ain't on about the normal person that rides his bike for fitness and stuff and on a Sunday either. I'm on about the ones on a Sunday that ride two, three abreast and then swing out in the road not letting you go past and uh, just giving you it all and keep looking at you you know so when I go on about things and genres of, of organization uh, organizations let's say or hobbies hobbies um, they're the people that do my head in doctors receptionists they're the same you get nice doctors receptionists you get the bigoted woman and all and you uh, you also get burn sea fishing, don't you? I mean, I'm bigoted. Everyone is, everybody is. But, turn that light off. Sun's going down. So yeah, if you subscribe to this channel and you then hear me going on moaning about a doctor's receptionist or this or bus driver or taxi driver or cyclist or a golfer or fisherman, a uh, dog walker, what else is there? Everything in the world, isn't there? It's just that about the individual people that uh, make up and make those things that you do, those hobbies, those jobs and whatever, they're just tarnishing more with a bad name. I mean, when you get to know me, um, which most only see me through this and see what I say and stuff, but you know, don't unsubscribe is what I'm saying just because I say something that's uh, politically incorrect. I can't say what I want to say. I'll say it one day. What I do want to say is, what a beautiful afternoon this is. Uh, you know what I'm going to say. I've been looking forward to it. I even checked it yesterday and this morning. I thought it's still sunny. Still sunny. It's brilliant. Apparently, over that way, there's a weather front coming. And over that way, there's a weather front just gone. I'm in the bit in the between at the minute, and it's great. And this is the day I picked. So I worked Saturday so I could have today off. Well, don't have to I just feel a little bit better within myself for doing that so um, <coughs> I'm gonna bring the ziplets rod in next that'll be what I do because I did the lousy cast on it didn't I and lost half the worm and that's a rod that was moving, so if there's anything on it. Well, that was the battery gone. While I was talking to it. So yeah, it doesn't take offense with what I say. Well, you can take offense, it's free country, innit? But we all have opinions and I am opinionated. I think life would be bloody boring if you weren't. I'm afraid to say those people that love the World Economic Forum and all the crap that that permits is um, I'm glad I ain't a person like that I'm glad I am what I am and uh, I can think for myself as well I'll tell you something else that's get, been winding me up just lately I can talk about this um, People's views on the Tory party and the Labour party and the Liberal party. Unbelievable. There's more red arrows, look. 
See the red arrow show? It's three of them. It's the same three that's done that loop over there. I would say zoom in, but Tom wouldn't zoom in. He takes a mickey out of me, that boy. Zoom in, Tom, zoom in. He doesn't zoom in. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry for uh, the Christmas special, having a moan and groan and my opinion in it. I've probably just lost 20, 30 subscribers, and not I? Probably lost some Labour ones, some, some Liberal ones, some Tory ones, those that like the European Union. How sad they are. They can't even let you have a fish. You don't have to unsubscribe just because I've got an opinion. It's good to have an opinion. I'm gonna reel the Siplex rod in. Well, the battery that's just run out in the GoPro, I've just took out and I've got it on charge. ourselves another flounder. Now then. Now then, now then. Oh, let's not say that. <laughs> oh dear. That's five more gone. That's deep booked. Now uh, I'm going to get that out and then I'll give you a show. I've got the other one in there, I'll chuck them both back. Now that was going side to side, it felt like it was a small cod at first. The old, uh, still doing the loop a loop, look. Just underneath my rods. Right there, Tom zoom in. It does look quite spectacular, Tom. It might be worthwhile a zoom in. They are, they've done the loop. All that diesel they're chucking out. That ain't good for the environment, is it? Oh, Greta won't be pleased. There goes the two flounders back. Just caught this one. Caught that one. Gonna put them back now. Two flounder caught, two different rods, one on the sniper, which was the biggest one, and the other one was on the TF5050. What a lovely rod that is. So, uh, sun's gone down behind the clouds now. Let me show you. So, it'll be getting dark shortly. Time is 16 minutes past three. Um, and there we are. So I'm gonna get this, another rig put on there. They're doing up and overs now, look. The, the uh, red arrows. Water's come right in. It's coming in fast. It will leave fast as well. It'll go out fast. But yeah, it's been really good. Two fish, two flounders. You know, nice catch a cod. I haven't got the fantastic bait though, but I will do my best. That's all I can do. Hopefully, bring you another fish. Sorry if I've gone on and thought, but it was in my mind. I said it. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. Can't say what I want to say. 
but there you go it is a fishing video it should be just with fishing but i'm afraid to say it's my my diary of today it's not a diary it's a it's a video of my fishing trip and uh, if i've got something in mind i say it but it escalates doesn't it when i start talking it'll start off at one thing and move on to another i ain't got this rod out i should be fishing i ain't a match fisherman am i so uh but yeah what beautiful clouds and everything i'll take some pictures um yeah i'll get this baited up um don't unsubscribe if you do like this channel subscribe click the uh alarm bell for all notifications and uh, drop me a comment uh nice you know i've got you know what i'm like and um, if i you know do any nasty comments don't very rarely get any nasty comments you always rattle someone's cage at times though but there you go yeah if you like this channel do it um sorry this is christmas video and i've just been going on ain't i but sometimes things rattle you on don't they and people still harbour the old values and stuff and i'm afraid things move on and uh there's a bigger concerns for me now unless these high millionaires globalists that are just trying to sculpt the world into what they want and wreck our country in the meantime <coughs> look at this beautiful weather the water is calm i wish i had me yellow tails but i haven't you can only get them if the weather's you can only dig for them if the weather's good <clears throat> and they've had all storms haven't they so they haven't been able to get them so we've got the rag we've got some blow lug and this rod still ain't out is it because i'm yapping to you ain't I? so i'll see you in a bit and i cast this rod out and that loop in the loop again them red arrows, eh? I'm gonna cast over there because I missed me other line. when you cast out just sort of like now I've missed the picture now because the sun's gone when I cast it out you always let it hit the water let it sink give it some time to sink and then take the slack up because I see a lot of people they cast out it hits the water and they're reeling it straight away all you're doing it is bringing it into you and then it'll then sink and it's in closer to you than what it would have been if before you reeled it so cast it out let it hit the water let it sink if it's a fast tide which it isn't at the minute let it sink give it some time because it'll drift along either left or right whatever way the tide's going and uh, then put it in your rod rest and take the slack up don't forget to set your drag bretty boy do you know i don't I'm not infused because I ain't got my yellows. But I've got bait, I've got worms, I'm fishing, I've got three rods out. If anybody knows what it's like to fish with three rods, then um, yeah, it's hard work. There will come a point when I hang the sniper rod, rod up and just concentrate on the other two. But um, yeah, no blank, we've caught two flounder. Hopefully they're gone back. Sometimes they hunker down onto the seabed, the tide will go out and they're dead because obviously they've hunkered down and they've died but hopefully that won't happen today I will see because when the tide go out I'll be able to see them and if they are still there and they're alive I'll be able to chuck them out further wouldn't I but when that happens they tend to not not and they're quite hardy fish but they tend uh, if that's going to happen then they're, they're dead but both of those swam off they were kicking around the bucket and they kicked around there they didn't look like they just sunk We've got the TF, we've got both big rods out with flappers on. All of them have got flappers on at the minute. 
we will be going through a panel rig with some slightly bigger baits on but nothing major but they'll be worm baits I brought frozen baits but I will be taking the frozen baits home I think I've caught it's not a blank that's the main thing for me if there's any cod well there probably would be for me if I had yellers I don't hold much hope out with ragworm I never done well but people do catch cod on ragworm perhaps they're just better than me but yeah for those that are still with me after me uh, Christmas opinionated discussion let's say um, yeah I could rant about the woman that um, I was going past the lorry and I thought she ain't stopping and she had a uh, come straight past she did have right away but she was quite a way back and I thought by the time I get to the end of the lorry she'll she'll be up on me so I can't get past so I stopped and uh, she never got thanked or anything I could rant about that but you know these are the minorities in driving that are uh, there's a load of starlings that I'm showing you but it won't pick it up but there's loads of starlings over there they must be there must be 2,000. Must be. It's great to see when they start swooshing around. Anyhow, I'm going to have another sandwich because I'm hungry. I'm going to watch these rods. The wife might phone me up in a minute if she's not gone off. No, she ain't not gone off yet. It's half past three. So I've got half past four. I've got another hour and 20 minutes until high water. See in a bit. Right, let's get this uh, sniper rod reeled in. We'll see what's on this. I like it when the water comes in because it's a lot easier to fish. There's no weed on it. That picked that up as it came up the shore. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, we'll put it out again. Well, I might bait it up actually. So, uh, let's get some worms on. Got a baiting needle there. I don't know whether this is permitted with YouTube rules. Where's my baiting needle gone? Oh, cock. <clears throat> Sorry I swore then. I've said the word which uh, popped, didn't I? But I think most people like that word. So I do apologise. So that's one on. Let's burst it as well, so that ain't very good, is it? I go down from the head. Um, I guess it what, don't make the worm any happier having this threaded down it, but um, I do it like that. So hopefully it don't die straight away, so it wiggles about. And keeps your fingers away from their gnashes.
when I remember, when I remember, I chucked the old bait up there on the on the bank because there's mice that live on there and uh, they need to eat as well. So um, yeah, I chuck it up there so they can have a summit to nibble on. Um, let's just check where that's looking. Well, I can just, I can put this over here and cast from the top here, can't I? Not many dog walkers. We had the one woman who was collecting rubbish, fishman's rubbish. Didn't collect any other rubbish. Um, there was an old woman that was walking about enjoying the day, and two men and a woman just gone down there. But no dogs. Used to get loads of dog walkers. That will do. Well, let's just check I'm in shot. Well, Brett's Fishing Diaries went live on uh, Christmas Day. Um, so I'm led to believe, you got to remember this isn't Christmas Day. Um, Hope you went over to his channel and checked him out. If not, go over to his channel after you've watched this and subscribed to this channel and uh, see if he did do a live. And if he did, give him a watch on it. Nothing on that. Right, we'll get that baited up. Which, we've got the big rod. We've got the big bait now. Might as well try it, and I ain't got me, I ain't got my favourite. Oh, I ain't in shop now, am I? That'll please Andrew. He'll be like, bloody hell, Vern's using a pulley rig, I know. And there we are. There's four ragworm there on their panel rig. We should cast that out. How far should we cast it out? We'll give it a good chuck, shall we? We'll give it a good chuck. And we'll go between the lines. So I'll go straight out. Mm. If anybody wanted to know what I said then, I went, Ooh! because, uh, this line this line like an air tractor this line nearly got my sniper line let's hope that unclipped but it should do it it's on a breakaway in I don't use any other bait release clips now. I sometimes use the Gemini splashdown. But normally, even for off a ground cast, I use the breakaway imp now. Like I say, I still use the splashdown occasionally. I don't use any other clip because any other clip isn't as good as those two. And uh, the breakaway imp is the best one of the lot, in my opinion. And that's my opinion, Brett. <laughs> oh dear, what a load of rubbish. Don't forget Alan's castaways. Alan's castaways. He's on Facebook. Bend it, send it, go get them.
Um, lovely bloke. Got all the time, time in the world for him. Like having a phone call and a chat with you as well, and it's great. Hope everything sorts itself out, mate. Life is uh, that wheel going round on that Ferris wheel, isn't it? Sometimes we're at the top and other times we're at the bottom. Right now then, I've got a flapper rig to bait up, so I've got a rig on the go. We're now fishing. Yeah, I ain't gonna say we're double pattern and all this crap. I've just got a rig ready. Let's turn this light out. Just got a rig ready for when that one comes, next one comes in. Sometimes it goes, I mean, I've caught two fish on the flood. Let's get back to the fishing. I've caught two uh, fish on the flood and um, sometimes you don't do that. Sometimes you don't do that. You have to wait until the end. But rivers, estuaries, beaches, they fish differently all the time, don't they? Depends on the day, the tide, what fish are about. But we caught two fish, two flounder. They both returned. Hopefully we'll catch some more but let's hope it's a codlin. Don't care what's, what size, don't care if it's little, diddle, more birds, look. Little, big, whatever. So look, we've got some, uh... well, you know what they are, don't you? They're not pheasants. They're them ones that are bigger than pheasants. They're not partridges, are they? Answer in the comments. Them birds with a great big tail fan. All them starlings over there. I'll show it. I know you won't see it, but literally over there, there is loads of them. Please zoom in on that, Tom, for God's sake. Please, 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 I beg you. I beg you. I'm zoomed in now, Tom. See if that's any better. There they go, they're turned. When they turn, they go blacker. Well, I'm still using this army tech light. I'm not gonna show that out again. You can go back in my videos and see this light. But I am really impressed with it. It's, um, I wouldn't be using it if I wasn't impressed with it because I don't suffer fills at all. And if this was a fill light, I wouldn't be using it. So I am quite impressed with it. And I've, I, I'm not, I'm now getting used to the fact that I look like a Dalek. I think it's ridiculous really, but, um, but yeah, it's good. It's a, it could be a hand torch or a head torch, but the, the amount of light settings is un unbelievable and it's German so it's technical <laughs> for someone like me but there you've got loads of light settings turbo settings it's got a 5000 milliamp hour battery in it and I uh, don't check my emails much I check my emails and um, on Black Friday they were offering these with 31% discount which is quite a bit it'd probably take this down I don't know 80 80, 90 quid, something like that, 80 quid. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I'm only saying. But I never promoted it. They asked, sent me an email and I never stuck it on Facebook or anything. And uh, because I never looked, because I've had such a shit few weeks, especially with my cat. Um, just had so much on, so, so much going wrong. Um, yeah. It's a shame really, because um, somebody could have got a half decent light with quite a bit of discount off, but I'm sure they'll do it again next year or whatever, and they might have a more powerful light out by then. They might even have one with a spotlight so you can zoom it in. Don't know. But I am happy with using it, that's what I'm saying. It's great for lighting up this area, and it, it sends the light far enough out to see. So you can see, you know. Nothing on the rods yet. Um, I've got my Fenix head torch in the box as well. 
I've got another Fenix at them. They're only £50 head torches, but they're good enough. They last a full session, same as this does. Yeah, rods have slowed down, so we had a couple of bites with the tide coming in. We're now coming up to high water. It is just gone four o'clock. It is 12 minutes past four. You probably didn't see that because it's probably too bright. <laughs> I had to show the time then, just in case someone says that I'm fishing on a different day to when I started. <laughs> what a fuck. What a... Oh dear. <coughs> oh, I've just got over this bloody cold and all. Oh, airache. I had airache as well. You know I had airache in this here just before my holiday and it cleared up when I was on Aldi, which was October 21st. Well, I got airache in this here. It was as bad. Terrible. So uh, this time I went straight to the hospital and uh, they gave me some squeezy shite which didn't do any good and my hair was getting sore and sore and sore so uh, the next one, I was, but that was on a Friday I went to hospital because it's a quick space to go and I went back to the hospital on the Wednesday and she gave me uh, a different nurse, gave me some amoxicillin um, after checking me out and that sorted it out but I've just, I've still got a little bit as I've got water in my hair Hopefully it's just clearing up now. Like I say, nothing's happened on the rods. We've now got a flapper rig out on the sniper rod. We've got a flapper rig out on the... Um, we've got a flapper rig out on the... Trying to get it all in frame, do you know what I mean? Trying to be professional. It's not really happening though, is it? There you go. So uh, yeah, I've got a flapper rig out with uh, rag on the sniper rod, uh, the uh, red buttered rod, which is the Ziplex, has got a flapper on with rag, and uh, you're getting the gist of this, aren't you? It's basically rag, and the Vaselli, the longer rod, is uh, with a white butt, bit of white on the butt. That's got a panel rig on now, pulley panel, and I've got three or four ragworm on that elasticated so hopefully I ain't got my favorite bait you know I love my favorite bait I ain't got it but hopefully if there's a fish there it'll take it that's all you can hope for really isn't it you can't hope for anything else I need to paint the tip of this, this little tiny bit, you don't need a lot. I need to paint that white. Well, I um, got my Kenzakis out yesterday and they've been washed ages ago, dried. But I um, wiped them over with some WD-40, the eyes, and put them back in the uh, rod bags, ready to go up on the shelf, because I shall be fishing here for a while. Well, I can hear the groans now, but, you know, if I'm going to catch a cod, it'll be here. And it isn't even about that at the minute. It's about the fact that um, it's just easier for me to get to. I still stumble and slip and stuff and 
whatever. But, thought I'd kick a stone again. I just realised that. That was nearly on the toe and all. Yeah, it's, um, I should be going on the beach. The problem with that is, when it's cold, you know, with my hip, I need to go somewhere which isn't too far. I can carry all my stuff on the beach shirt, on the buggy, with my new wheels and tyres on. Um, heated jackets and everything, so I suppose I can do that on the beach. Um, but yeah, if it's quiet here, I shall uh, venture onto the sand. Bloody crap stuff, that is, gets everywhere, doesn't it? moved because I'm um, lines going out could be a fact that I've got weed round it because it tides changing time is 20 past four so in half an hour we're at high water And uh, I'm expecting the water to zoom out. It's a 6.7 metre tide today. Like I say, it's Monday the 11th of December, is it? I think it's the 11th. Yeah, 11th of December, Monday. 6.71 metre tide, I think. That's at Immingham. It'll be higher here. Um, But I always go by the Immingham book because that's the book I've got. And I know, if I look at my Immingham timetable, I, I know what it's going to be here. So you just get used to the fact. I bought a new light. Let me just show you that. We'll have that on tonight and see what it's like. It's here. Um. quite bright um, we'll see what it's like it's nice in here in my shelter I've got the battery on charge still so this one will go out in a minute so anyhow I'll bring you back when something happen I might have to put my uh, red coat on just to stop the chill hitting my arms but I'm quite warm. If I had the thermals and this hoodie on and I put my red coat on now, and I'll tell you, if I put my bottoms on, I'd be roasted toasty. But I've got a heated jacket on and it's on low. So I might stick it off. It's on blue at the minute, so I've just stuck the back on green because that's the bit you want warm. Oh, I can feel it getting warm already. Now, last year when I used this um cool it was it used to last a full shift on the river so hopefully it still will but batteries packs tend to reduce but if it buggers up i just buy another battery pack i've got the coat right i'm going it is it's got this light on there look i think it's as bright as it'll go um But yeah, we've got light down there. I can't see any of my rods because I've been looking at that light, looking at that light, and my rods are there. They could be moving. Um, and I can't put my torch on because it'll dazzle you. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring you back. It is now dark. It is absolutely beautiful there. I am so lucky with my hip. Um, I'm so lucky to be here. All the rents and the moons. I ain't rent. I ain't rent for a long, quite a while. I don't think it's getting picked up. I am getting comments. It's not good, is it? But Vern can only rent 
when Vern's got a rent, you know, if I rant for the sake of ranting, it ain't, it's going to be false, isn't it? And I'm not a false person, so I'm ever so sorry. But um, I'm afraid as I've fished more and more and more and learnt more and more, you tend to calm down a bit because if something goes wrong that used to get you up before, it don't get you up now. But there is other things that wind me up. But as of yet, it don't really happen because it's an easy drive here. It's an easy drive to Wimmingham. Um, it's only when you go across that river umber, across the bridge, and you're in them 30s and 40s in the countryside, fields either side of you, and you can see for miles, and you're doing 30. Ridiculous. Um, I hope all you lot in Wales are doing okay with your new speed limit. It would do my head in, I'll tell you. Thank you to all my subscribers, all 4,863 when I last looked of you. Appreciate it. The ones that watch religiously, the ones that watch occasionally, the ones that don't watch now at all but are subscribed, thank you very much. Do not unsubscribe. But no, it's great. I uh, The channel's doing well. I get really good views for uh, the amount of subscribers I've got. It's an organic channel. No bought subscribers in this channel, I'll tell you, because it would mortify me. Oh, it really would. I've got um, great comments. You get the odd bad one, but then I'll probably ask for it because I've been ranting on or moaned about something. So that happens. You know, I don't remove them unless they start swearing and cursing and stuff. Um, but if it's a bad comment, I'll leave it up for people to see. I only remove it if I'm swearing or being nasty. But I don't really get them. I've got a bun good bunch of chaps and lasses that watch my channel and any other species. I ain't fussed. But yeah, it's I appreciate it all. Without you subscribing and watching these and commenting, I probably wouldn't do them now. I would still upload a video, but it would be... Um, it would be probably not as regular probably once a month once every two months um so yeah with you subscribing commenting showing a commitment to me um it just keeps me going keeps other youtubers going as well i presume but it does keep me going and uh, I appreciate that. It makes makes it all worthwhile. I think everyone's got re to realise now that I upload at Wednesday on a seven o'clock. Videos go live. I go loads of comments Wednesday, comments Thursday, comments Friday. Slow down Saturday. Get the odd comment Monday. Um, I've had one comment today, um, and I had one yesterday which I answered today. And then it slows off, and then I get a day off, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday night, boom, starts all over again. It's uh, sort of like found its own level and pattern now. When I first started YouTube and uploaded at 7 o'clock on a Wednesday, it used to be from Wednesday to Tuesday. Comments all the time, but now I get a huge load on the Wednesday and Thursday, and then it starts pittering off, which is good because it ain't so intense as it used to be. But I get good comments, lots of them for me, for a channel like this. And uh, I appreciate all the subscribers, so thank you very much. I'm going to turn this off now. I'm going to... I need to put my head torch on so I can see these rods. See you in a bit. Right, well, where am I going to reel this in? I'm going to reel it in there, isn't I? new light I don't know what that will do um, let's get this here so that you can at least see the rod so the for Sally which I'm now gonna reel in has been tapping now I think it might just be a case of oh that is going line out going out look 
I think it might have weed on it. Could have a fish on it, I suppose. But let's see what's on it. It's heavy, but there could be weed on it. For a high water, it's not heavy now. Weight might have lost its grab. Certainly not heavy. So. Some weed there. going as well. Let's put that on there. Well, it's all that in there. That bait is still on there, look. I might actually whip the other one. I've done the same bait again for this panel rig. I've got four ragworm baited up. That looks that good. I might actually stick the four ragworm on that one. I don't really hold much hope out for ragworm to be honest. It's something uh, I catch on it. I caught on it at Devon didn't I? But here I don't know. I can only go by what by what I've success I've had here with which baits, you know. But I'm gonna chuck this straight, oh, I'm gonna chuck out to the left. So there's not much weed, there's a little bit, but that don't mean it ain't gonna come on. So I've casted it, it's hit the water. Let's take the slag up. That's tight, put the drag on, put the drag on too. Perhaps the tide is turning. It's taking the rug, rigs out. Right. Um, do I need to bait? No. Let's get this sniper rod reeled in because it's just a flapper rig. So what I can do is is just reel it in and bait it up. I shall chuck this out again. If I have weed on it again, I'm going to retire it because we've caught fish. We ain't blanked. Um, this is now sunk down in them rocks. It'll probably get snagged. Yeah, that's what I was pulling in. So I don't know whether that had got hooked on there quite a bit of bladder right there isn't there 
So let's get this chucked out again. We'll get this baited up now. Whatever ragworm I've got left, I'm going to put in the river. It's got two choices. It'll either become fish food or it'll survive. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bait this sniper rod up. I'll bring it back when I cast it out. And uh, I'll then make up the pulley rig even better. So see you in a bit. Right, we've got a ragworm and a lugworm on this. And what I'm going to do is, the rest of the lugworm that Scott gave me, will go, the rest of the lugworm will go on the Ziplex rod. So we've got three flappers out at the minute. Um, got my hand warmers in my pocket. I put my coat on because the breeze is going on to my arms. Um, my heated jacket is keeping all my core warm. That's really nice. So this jacket now, I'm roasty. So just sort of come out fishing in uh, terrible weather, do it. So I've got blow lug that I'm gonna put on the flat rig on the zip legs and I'm gonna put on some more. Is that released? Yeah, of course it has. And I'm gonna now wrap on some uh... That's the bait. It's come back exactly the same as I put it out. Nothing's even nipped the bit off the end look. So I'm now gonna wrap on there some more. Um it'll be a bit bigger bait, but if there's a cod about. So what I've been told to do with ragworm, so that's what I'm doing. It's three or four there, and there's four on the other one. So that'll be a bit bigger bait. It ain't too big. Yes, it's long, but it isn't huge as in like a donkey's cock, is it? So hopefully we'll catch a fish on that. And uh, don't forget, this is the Christmas special, and there's no swearing in this one whatsoever. Donkey's cock. <laughs> Oh, where'd that come from? I think that's what I wish. There you go, that's what you have to do for YouTube. Just as it gets colder. As it gets cold, this is uh, really on the... I might have to walk down, I might go out of camera sight. Don't worry, I ain't fell in.
nothing on that. Had some weed on it, that's why I had to, took a bit of time getting in. Um, yeah, what we got here? We got bladder rack yet again. Gotta be careful. Which has got eight rag on that now. Because it came in with the rag still on it and it stunk. So I've put four more rag on it and sent that. That's now going out. Um, rod's over there, one's over here. So I'm going to cast out further than the sniper rod, but not as far as the Vaselli. I do not want to get tangled up. Do not want to get tangled up. I normally like going to the right, but I'm going to put this out of here. Somewhere. There's a lot of power in this rod, you know. There's a lot more power in that rod than there is in this Continental Vaselli. Right, I'm gonna have to turn. I'm gonna have to turn my jacket down. Right, they're all on blue now. Might even have to turn some of them off because I got setting round the neck, setting on the back, and setting down the chest. So I might turn two of them off actually. I've just got the back setting on now. Because I'm getting hot. I don't want to take this off, but the wind has died now. Bait runners are set. Or should I say live liner? I think the difference between the Pen Spin Fisher 6 and the new Pen Spin Fisher 7 is basically the main cog, instead of being alloy, is now brass. So the new reels are, are better. You pay for that. I've never had a problem with them, so that's why I bought all the Spin Fisher Sixes that I wanted because they were cheap. I figured that'd be better. It's uh, I've got that light on. That'll be good. I'm going to leave it on for this shot. I've got the new tripod light on behind this. It'll be interesting to see if it's too bright because I'll be all a, gl a blur and you'll not see my chiselled looks, will you? So yeah, if you've got this far or you've fast forward it all the way to here. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, just in case you didn't watch the beginning and you've just zoomed into this bit. I uh, hope you've had a good time. Hope you have a good New Year. Um, I've had two flounder up to now. Um, it is high water now. It's ten past five. It's gone high water. Uh, it'll start to ebb now and I think it'll ebb out quite quickly. Will I fish all the way down? Yes, I should do. Would I if I had yellows? Yes, I would. Will I tonight? I don't know, I don't think so. It's uh, first time fishing for, for a month. So there's a few aches and pains because I ain't been fishing and uh, it takes a bit to get used to again. So. Is there any cod about? I don't think there's as many as there is last year. There's a lot of big fish about. It'd be nice to catch a big fish, wouldn't it? So I'll bring you back in a bit anyhow, when I reel these in. I'm gonna bait that up, sit down, have a coffee, and uh, cough sweet, I reckon. See you in a bit. on the sniper rod but I'm still setting my lights and everything up
Well, I say I got a fish on it. The line has moved, so it could be the river. It's definitely got summer on it. didn't have a bite on it did it? Plastic bag, I'll see if I can get that out of the water. God, I thought I turned that bloody light on. Yeah that's recording. Tom will be saying, of course it's recording, but I didn't know. <laughs> right, well, I think I might retire this one. I thought I had a bite then, seriously thought I had a bite. No. Right, I'm going to fish two rods now. We beat the blank, haven't we? Um... We beat the blank. I'm going to fish two rods now so I can just concentrate a bit more and fish the big bait on the panel rig and the flapper rig. I'm going to go on to blow lug now on the flapper rig and we'll see what it's like. It is what it is. There isn't as many fish around this year as last but it was like that all through summer. Literally, as soon as June had gone July, August, September, October, it was it was fish about but not in numbers at all. I mean you, you can watch my videos, you can tell. Um, and the cod aren't in numbers like they were last time, so it's pointless coming fishing really. Just leave it to me to do. No, it's good. It's nice to be out. I'm lucky to be able to do it still. There'll come a time when I can't. But that's not yet, so. Yeah, I'll put this away, put the reel away, rig away. Put it all away, including the rod. I'll get this bag out. There you have it. That's what was giving me my bite. A juicens bag. Juicens. Yeah. It's an industrial area, you get muck in the river, don't you? I need to take this home with me because the lady that was picking up fishman's rubbish won't pick this up because she didn't pick a dog mug up. At least there's people go along here picking up rubbish. Fishermen shouldn't leave it, should they? But they do. You know, things happen, don't they? I've been down that route at the bays at Immingham. Pick us up, pick that up and showing it and filming it. All you do is get hate mail. There's no point. I pick it up anyhow. Wherever I go and fish, believe you me, when I leave, I take the rubbish away with me that I see. If I don't see it, I don't, t don't take it. Um, if you shout it out you end up getting someone wanting to beat you up or do something to you and then you get other people promoting the fact yeah that's what you get but then they're in that category of people I told you a bit back they were twats do you know what I mean but I'll take this on with me and the mud and water on the face 
Put it around there. There's no wind, ain't gonna blow anywhere. So we've got the big panel rig out on the uh I ain't got the spotlight on at the minute, just for my own observation. We've got the panel rig up with the uh, humongous, well it ain't humongous, it's still in the, really, it ain't even bigger than a squid. So uh, yeah, we've got that out there with eight rag on, and we've got a two up flapper out there. Got the two up flapper there, I'm gonna take the bait off now, whilst I do this rod, put this rod away, and I'm gonna put lug worm on it for the next, rod which will probably be the Vasali. There's nothing out there, there's no crabs out there, there's nothing out there. There is weed and it is like grassy type stuff which has probably been washed up further upstream or it goes up and down, up and down. Um, bladder rack, well that's coming from down the bottom when my weight sinks because I have to clear the grass from the tip eye. So I'll bring you back in a bit. I'm going to keep watching these two rods, get this baited up and get it ready for the next cast. See you in a bit. jammed up because of this grass ready for May rot I think but I'm gonna have to walk down there I'm gonna have to walk down this way to try and get it unsnagged Lugworm on next. It's going on a flapper rig. Um, we're uh, framing now. It's uh, going good. I'll put that there. Put this on. I've only got a lug worm on each hook. Um, Give me another cast with lug worm. So, uh, reel that up there to that. Get round to where. Right. 
too far. No. There's no need for me to reel this now because I can feel it's taut already. It's either got weed on there or the weight and hit the bottom. Get another flap of rig baited up. Um, yeah, not that organised really, to be honest, today. Um, not organised at all. But I'm going to get that. Put all that drag on there. That just ain't going to, it's going to pull the tripod of it that one so um where are we at i must have a huge lump of weed on that because that rod is going up and down i don't know why i chucked it out that far really but i ain't got my favorite bait on so i ain't holding much hope out for a cod but I'm trying, I am trying. And this is the Christmas week's video. And it ain't been very joyous, has it? Not with the uh, rabbit and on with my opinion earlier on. Bit like a Grinchy Christmas, isn't it? Old Vern the Grinch. I'm more interested in the fact of as of today, it's 10 more Tuesdays. That's what I'm excited for. 10 more Tuesday till pancake day. That's what I'm looking forward to. I wouldn't be laugh if I've chucked that out and I've actually got a fish on it because I've got lugworm on. <laughs> we'll see. Surely that ain't the bite. Swinging right round. Let's get this in. Pull this in before we have any trouble. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We're going down there. I don't know if that will get me. But hopefully it will. I'm, uh, I think I'm this side of that rod already. No big cars. It's only a 6.7 as well. can't believe that can you that had gone literally round my ziplex so the tide had pulled that that quick 
I've not ever known that. Uh, let's get this bit of seaweed off here. I have to do the baits again, innit? Because that shit, man. It says no uh, wires weren't in. Let's tighten them up. They are tight now. Right, well, I've baited that up. I haven't. I'm off the pedal rig now. I'm going to cast it that way and not very far again. Um, see what happened right now then oh, it's on bright again isn't it yeah when I said when I said before about that spotlight being on it was on full so uh, it's now on half full right I'm gonna I've got a two up flapper on this. Um, let me just show you this. I've got one up the hook and then I've got some hanging off and it wouldn't surprise me if they fall off. But I'm going to chuck this out gently as I can. And not very far. Could have come off, we'll never know, will we? So let's get this rod in here. This one in here. Brilliant. Lines are apart and uh, everything's tinky tinky. Whatever that means. Well, let me turn this light off. I don't know if it's any good at all. So, it's uh, distant memories from last year, isn't it? Last year it was unbelievable. I did say back then that this is a one in a lifetime, once in a lifetime um, catching and catching and catching. And like I say, I only had that session 13 was a blank, weren't it? And uh, might have caught a flounder, but them dog walkers are coming back. Same people, every night when it's dark, they walk down there. Every time I'm here, they must do it every night. So yeah, I ain't got the best bait. Um, but I haven't been fishing for nearly 30 days. And uh, we don't always go out every week. You know, 30 days. Well, it's probably about 26, but it's close enough to me. Now, I haven't cast it out so far, but it looks like the river slowed down as well. So, let's see what we get. I might not fish it all the way down to the mud, as I always do. I ain't got the best bait. I'm running out of worms. I've just opened a crab up, which is a bit concerning, and it was rotten. Now, it had a hole underneath. So something had put a hole in it. Uh, it was quite a large hole. And when I ripped the back off, it was all black inside and stinky. So uh, it got chucked in the water. Um, I had opened it up before and used a crab out of that, what I froze. But it could have been damaged and rotten when I picked it up, couldn't it? Let's hope the rest of them didn't like it and it was just that one. Um, getting on really well with this head torch I, I do like it I'll keep using it 
Headband is perfect. You don't need the stupid band across the top. Don't go anywhere. And I ain't even got the rubber band on the front so I can turn it easy. So yeah, we ain't got the best bait. But we're here, aren't we? It's a glorious afternoon. It's a glorious night. I've got my heated jacket on. Probably don't need it with this coupon. Um, I've got it right down on the low. So probably I do need it on. But that's the good thing about a, having an electric waist jacket. So keeps you nice and warm for when it is really cold. No boats have gone past. Can you hear the river? Now going out a bit quicker. Surge of water's going past. There's no boats. You always get that on the Humber. Pheasant, peacock. That's what we heard earlier on, peacocks. Right, so what I will say is it's an absolutely glorious afternoon and night. I'm uh, lucky to be here. This is the Christmas video. It's the video after Christmas. I always think the one before, which is last week's video, was Christmas one because it was uploaded and it goes over Christmas Day. But It's fantastic being air fishing while I can. Um, how long that will last, I don't know. How long it will go on for, I don't know. But let's make the most of it while we can, eh? Long while in a, you're a long while in a wooden box, aren't you? Can't do anything in there, can you? Let's hope there is somewhere to go to. When I lost my cat, it's not my cat, it's my daughter's cat, but I feel as though he was mine because I made a fuss of him towards the end because my daughter moved out and got a dog. It's still her cat, always will be her cat, but. I was always making a fuss of him. He always sat beside me in that, but from watching him walking about to then just lying there, motionless, all life gone, um, that just brings it home, doesn't it? Um, brings you, it brings it home to, you can't even think about it really. You can't even try and make head and a tail of it, let's say. One minute you're here and the next minute there's nothing there's something the other side that everyone wish there is then brilliant you know who am I to say let's hope there is <laughs> for cats and humans for anything really but it's just shocking I mean it brought it home and losing my parents um, to me but yeah one minute one minute you're there the next minute there's nothing it's um i can't it's like the bloody universe how big is that you can't get your head around it well i can't anyhow but then i'm no brian cox cox god my donkey cox didn't say that did i, I said brian cox the astro astrologist Let's hope the cod turn up after December 21st because I need a winter one. I shall see you in a bit. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to have a coffee, I might have half a sandwich. Down to the rock soon and then I'll have to make my mind up but this is the first session back. I had a, quite a long layoff through this, that and the other and everything going wrong. Um, but we're here tonight and it's fantastic. And. Uh, Eat plenty of mince pies because even though it's the day after Boxing Day or it's the Wednesday after Boxing Day, let's say, still put the must still have mince pies and sausage rolls and stuff to eat. Get it eaten and get a belly on you like me. See you in a bit. Well, <clears throat> I hope you can see them rods. I think you can. You might be able to if I do that. So, we're just watching these rods at the minute. They're the same baits that you send me chuck out.
You can only uh, fish with what bait you've got. I've got good bait. I mean, let's be honest, I've got ragworm. A couple of blow lug. The crab weren't good. Now, that crab, it did have a hole in the underneath the shelf, so I don't know what happened there. It could have been attacked and killed. Could have bought it while it was dying. Um... <clears throat> before I froze it so it had time to go off it didn't take long for a crab to go off and then obviously it's been in and out of the freezer I don't know how many times probably twice um, so that ain't going to do it any good especially if it weren't very good at the beginning so I'm not too worried about the rest of the crab because they were all wiggling about when I froze them things go wrong don't they and that had been cut open and the other crab had been used so I've, I've put two in a pack because two crabs that's four casts I've got other bait to use as well I don't particularly want to be just fishing crab don't know that it's any good in this river either so that's that but we're waiting for these to knock over and this is the uh, time for it to knock over I don't think I'm going to fish it all the way down. I don't want to walk all over that, them stones and seaweed. <laughs> if I was catching cod, I'd keep going because you've got the, um, even with a poor lip, you've got that enthusiasm to keep, keep it going. Do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. It's just been nice to get out today. First time out for, for nearly a month. So we've blown the cobwebs off. Brought you a video. And it's freshened me mind up, I guess. All fishing always does. So that ain't gonna be good going back to work tomorrow and then going to the house and start electrics again tomorrow on two of the houses. We've got to do one of the other houses, the one which is I can start decorating. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully we might actually have some electric. You never know. You never know. But yeah. It's been a bit lackluster, hasn't it? You see, you either catch on the flood, you can catch all the way through, or you just catch on the ebb. It's different every time you come. There's no rhyme or reason. But this time last year, I seem to remember just catching a few flounder. And catching codlin and... I haven't seen many codlin in this river. What I've caught is all cod, as you know. I've had two cod out of there. I've had a cod off the beach in summertime as well. I haven't seen a codlin. So they aren't air in numbers, but they'll turn up. Um, perhaps there's no shrimp. Perhaps a shrimp had got hit. Perhaps there's not as many shrimp as last year. Perhaps the, the baby fish, they haven't come in yet. They want to have uh, the flounder are in now, aren't they? But. It's got to be bait here for the cod to come into. When that happens, they'll be here. But I'd have to look back at my videos last year and see, because it was a bit hit and miss at times. You never know, next week it might be loads of cod. The week after, could be loads of cod. In three weeks' time, there still might not be any cod. But the next time I come, I'll have the better bait. I feel a lot more confident then. But I'm certainly giving it a go. I've tried different baits. Oh, that just knocked. And the thing is, that tide run in there now, so hopefully the weed might have dropped off. My weights have held bottom now, so. The thing with, um, 
I tried the pulley panel. I did two baits on that, large baits. When I reeled it in, they were still on there. They still stank as well. So I could have sent it out again, but I'll tell you, cutting off ragworm, um, especially when it's five inch long, you've got to be so careful not to cut your line. It's hard work. So I've put that rig away and um, I'm back on the flapper rigs. Now, but I've just thought, if I make them smaller, so they're just the length of the hook, there'll be less to chop off, so I could put another pulley rig out, but tide is disappearing. I think I'm just gonna stick with my flapper rigs. Be nice to catch another fish. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. Hope you're still watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as you can a fishing video you know it's not um, Dick Emery is it it's not the professionals or minder or Dempsey and Makepeace or Lovejoy me favorite and it's certainly not a Will A film but as a fishing video go well it's not worse than any of the others is it so I hope you've enjoyed it That right end, right hand rod is um, moving up and down a bit, but it could be weed, could be anything coming. I shall bring you back in a bit. See you in a bit. I have got another rig there. Is that is that no has come in? That's that's an old rig. Yeah. That's an old rig. I ain't using that then. I thought he had a rig there. I thought he had a rig there that um that I baited up, but it's uh, the old lugworm bait. Well, probably got another half an hour of fishing time. Maybe forty minutes. Probably half an hour actually. It's going out quick. Um and. I'd normally fish it, but with the fact that I haven't had much and I haven't got my favorite bait, it's a case of, uh, I don't really want to go down in that mud because it's very slippery. A lot of the mud has gone off there, you know. The, there must have been a big tide come through, but it's ripped all the mud off the shingle that's down there. And it's back to shingle, but there's green weed there, which is slippery. So I might pull in this Ziplex TF5050 and uh, put that to bed and my other rod is bouncing around but I think that's because I casted it out too far and there's a bit of tide run probably hit some weed or something I don't know just take a check I'm in shot actually might as well put that down there because you might have to see me as nice as it is to see the rods and me picking it up I'm gonna have to go down there because otherwise it's gonna get caught up on the stones and the weed Let's get caught up round that bloody bladder rack. 
That's the problem. But there you go. Is what it is, isn't it? Well, I'm going to get this rod put away. Keep an eye on the Vaselli, and then we'll reel that in, and that's the end of it. End of the Christmas video. <sighs> when I get home, I've got some mince and dumplings in a stew pot, and I'm going to have that for my tea, supper. Once I've got all my gear in, clean my reels. You watch, I'll pull a cod in now. It'll bloody die on me. <laughs> and I'll have to fill at that before I can sit down and have anything to eat. I don't want that to happen. It's been an enjoyable night. I've enjoyed myself, but I'll get this put away and uh, I'll see you when I reel the last, last rod in. Right, I'm gonna have to go down there to reel this in because it's... gone to the right because I chucked out too far really so bear with me Oh dear, well, I'm back. I ain't put the bloody camera on ever. I'm lit up though, I've got all these lights everywhere. Plastic. Oh, Greta ain't gonna like that, is she? Hey. She's not gonna like that, is she? All that plastic and crap. 
Let me just check this is bloody recording because I had it on photo. Bloody glasses stained up. Yep, that's definitely on. Right. There you go. Well, uh, hand warmers are still on. I am hot. I'm going to have to turn this hooded coat off. Internal heated coat off because I'm going to be packing everything away and it's going to get hotter. So, yeah, well, it, it, look, it's been a nice afternoon. It's been a great night. It's been great weather. There's no wind. You couldn't want better conditions. The water's flat. Just had crap bait. It's, uh, for me, for me, in my opinion, because I'm not keen on ragworm. And I don't know whether my pheromones. My pheromones then go into this bait and it gives this off sense to the fish that he don't like like these baits and not I don't know. I never seem to have much luck on rag apart from uh, Budley Salterton. Um but I did catch two flounder, so it's not been a blank. That one of them was a good sized flounder, he must have been about 30 centimetres, if not a bit bigger, it might have been 32. But they were both fat fish, so they're coming in, they must be spawning. Uh, they must be breeding or doing whatever they do. Um, hopefully the cod will come in soon, but this bloody super size, extra large May rock crap, which is like felt, is unbelievable. Um, but there you go. So this is the Christmas video. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video for those that have got this far. Um, this, the SD card's gone yellow, so that means it's gonna be another long one. Um, sorry about that, but it is what it is. That'll give you something to watch over Christmas, won't it? Because Dick Emery ain't on, is it? Anyhow, what have we done? We came here, we fished the Humber, we caught two flounder, and it hadn't been a blank, And but it hasn't been what we was after, so that's, that is what it is. If I had different bait, then it may have been a different, a different scenario, but it wasn't, so. I've enjoyed myself, it's great to get out. I am tired now, I am knackered. I ain't fished it all the way down. There's still probably a meter or two before the mud, which is the killer zone. And, uh, but I ain't got that bait for that to happen, I don't think. Got no faith in it, so it is what it is. I'm gonna put all this away. I'm gonna end this video first before I rattle on much more. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you've got this far. And uh, I just hope that all my subscribers, all 4,000 and odd off you, um, if you watch this all the way to the end, I hope you enjoy it. It's you that keeps me making these videos. So the day you don't watch and the day I don't get any views, then that might be the end of bird sea fishing. But don't do that because I'll cry in a, in a cupboard. <laughs> but hey, another video for you another session on the on the fish and uh, i hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching and uh, commenting and thanks for subscribing so next time you see me we'll be at this river um we've got unfinished business and hopefully we'll have some better bait and i'll see you and on oh. happy new year i hope you had a merry christmas and a happy new year i hope you have a bloody good one as good as you want it to be, put it that way. I'll see you anon.
<laughs> happy Christmas! Yeah, <laughs> happy Christmas and a happy new year. Or is it Merry Christmas and a happy new year? Right, that's it. That's about as much as the excitement and cheerfulness that I can do.